so i have my rocket flame and it's looking really nice welcome back to this channel and for today in this brief tutorial for unity i will be showing you how to move um or how to use the particle system to like um give a rocket um flame for a spaceship so basically i have this scene set up i've already produced this starry looking background all i did was create a material and then i set it through skybox and then particles so in my main camera i added a component called skybox there it is you can add the skybox and then i put this um, picture as uh, under the material I put this picture over here under the material so that's why it's looking kind of blue so to um, like style this up what I will do is this fireflies it's a particle system which I created um, with some basic just some basic adjustments and then I will just put it here so that it will make the background feel a bit realistic there it is so feels like stars are actually shining in the background now I will go into my folder and then I already have a prefab for the spaceship that I'll be using for this tutorial so let me just go ahead and place this over here so this is it this is the spaceship that I'll be using for the tutorial it's nothing fancy just something basic and i think it should do for this tutorial there it is so um since i would like it to be rotating this way i will go ahead and create an empty um game c sharp script so i'll name this rotate so that we can see everything that is happening while i edit the particle system let me open it and this will just take a minute for it to load okay so this is the script so the first thing I will do will be to declare the speed at which I want it to be rotating so what I will give it public float speed I'll make it late uh, um, I'll make it 15 F there it is and then for the rotation I will use um, a built-in feature which is transform dot rotate So for the rotation, I will use vector three up dot up, mm -hmm. and then I'll multiply this by time dot delta time just to smoothing the frame <sighs> to make it run at the same frame with your computer and multiply this by our speed. Lastly, so. There it is, the end. So let me save this and open it up in Unity. Now let it just load a bit, finish compiling. And okay, so I'll take it now and I'll add it to my prefab. So now I have it over here, so let me play it and see how it looks. kind of moving um, and that is an assurance that it is working so for making the rocket trail come out first thing I'll do is open this prefab and then I'll create an empty object let me call this rocket okay so under rocket I'll go ahead and set this up to be behind the um, be 
kind of behind the rocket so somewhere around here um yep there we go so now i will add the particle system okay so because this has no material that is why it will be showing these pink boxes by default so right now we will create a material that we'll be using for this rocket drill so material let me call this flame there we go so instead of standard i'll come down here to particles and i'll use standard on it for the albedo i will um nah. first of all i'll change the rendering mode to additive and for this i will use default particle there. so this is what i'll be using it's our two basic features so back to our particle system now I will go down to the render mode and then instead of these um, boxes now I will click on this material or I can just drag and drop it here and you see it's um it's, it has already changed face so instead of this um billboard we'll be using the stretched billboard this can it makes it appear um just straight which would be good for a rocket flame and for us to limit this or make it um, straight in shape let's change the angle so I'll just use zero okay so it has no angle and then the radius I'll keep it straight for now so you can see it's already looking somehow like a flame okay so it's quite big for now and I need to reduce the size so if I'll go over here to start speed and I'll drop it down okay let's see to somewhere I'm gonna use 0.5 okay and then same thing for the start lifetime I'm gonna use 0.5 or 0.2 and this works okay I'll bring it closer to my spaceship so for the start size i'll be using the 3d start size so for here i'll be using 0.5 for here 0.5 and then here i will use 1.5 so it looks not too big and not too small just average and then for this white i'll be using orange So let me see how this is looking so far. And it's there, but it's not quite nice yet. Um, so for the shape, okay, I've already done something with the shape. Let me come over here to the start over lifetime. I'll click this and instead of this graph I'll be using this so when, I, when it plays then it gets sharper over the edge okay, it's looking sharper but then not the way I want it so I'll rotate this flame by 180 and let me see how that looks so it looks a bit sharper at the edge now except it's looking really faint somehow so let me increase this lifetime just a bit and there it is it looks kind of like a flame now one down so to remove these kind of pointy tips that are showing i will go to color over lifetime and then i'll make the alpha fade down to black so so that it can it can just it fades over time to be zero and there it looks somehow nice this way it doesn't look 
pointy or somehow like dots but it looks somehow looks great this way okay so there it is um so far so good it's this is good enough you can use this for your game so this is just um, a basic tutorial for particle system if you want to use this for a spaceship to make a flame as you can see it's looking very nice very simple nothing complex and this is it so if you want to put it on the other side you can just I guess duplicate it and play this we zoom a bit so you can duplicate this and then move it on to the other side okay, so this way you both have the same when I play it now okay so I have my rocket flame and it's looking really nice and beautiful actually so this is just uh, this is it for this tutorial if you enjoyed this make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video Thank you for watching, I am Jude and I will be giving you more tutorials on game development if you are interested, don't forget to hit that red button. Thank you for watching and I hope I see you in the next video.